Uh, this occupant, occupant of the Oval Office poses a clear and present danger to our future, to our democracy. You are more outraged than ever that Brett Kavanaugh has a lifetime job. You have to make it a voting issue. We've got to do two things at once. We have to talk about what's at stake with impeachment, and we have to advocate for what's at stake in the next election. The opening of an impeachment inquiry into the president on the basis of evidence that he betrayed his oath of office to uphold the Constitution and protect and defend our country. He has turned American diplomacy into a cheap extortion racket. We're in the midst of a historic global refugee crisis, which is accelerated by climate change, economic injustice, and violent extremism. And here at home, in Europe, and in other places around the world, we are witnessing an all-out assault on our core values of democracy, free speech, and the rule of law. History is being written, and the world and our children are watching. We saw that again just this past week with Greta Thunberg, who... first captured international attention when at 15 years old she began demonstrating outside the Swedish parliament to protest her government's inaction on climate change. At first, she said, I tried to bring people along to join me, but no one was really interested, so I had to do it by myself. Soon, though, students across Europe and then the world started following suit, first just by the dozens, then hundreds, then millions. And this week, she delivered a powerful speech at the United Nations Climate Action Summit that should be required viewing for every lawmaker. She spoke for so many in her own generation when she condemned world leaders' lack of urgency in responding to climate change by saying, you have stolen my dreams and my childhood with your empty words. Now, I know she engendered a backlash from the climate change deniers, from the anti-anything coalition that takes on those who stand up and speak out and actually live in an evidence-based world instead of a fact-free world. So she did engender this backlash, which only made her message more significant more important for every one of us to pay attention to. And I personally am grateful to her uh, and what she is inspiring among young people across the world. Because never underestimate the power of women and girls, not only to improve their own lives, but to lift up families, communities, and entire nations.